Okay, hello students. Um, this is week two. We're working on adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation. So I'm gonna I'm gonna break the video up into two sessions. Session one will be on adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation with the same exponent. And then video two will be adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation with different exponents. So this first video will be on when they're the same exponent. So let's get started. Okay, so your first rule that you're gonna remember, keep in mind, you cannot add or subtract numbers in scientific notation if your exponents are not the same. The exponent has to be the same or you cannot move forward with the operation of adding or subtracting. Okay, so that's your very first rule that you have to remember when you first look at the exponents. The exponents have to be the same. Okay, so if your exponents are the same, step one, you're going to add or subtract the decimal depending on what your operation is. It can be a decimal, it can be a whole number. You're gonna first add or subtract the decimal, which is your coefficient. And then step two, you're gonna bring down the given exponent on the 10. Okay, so here's our first example. You have two and 56 hundredths times 10 to the third power plus six and 964 thousandths times 10 to the third power. Move that out of the way. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is look at my base and my exponent. My exponents are the same. That's my first step. So now that my exponents are the same, I can proceed and look at my coefficients, which are my decimals. Okay, so my operation is adding. I'm gonna add, you see right here, this is the operation sign. So step one, I'm gonna add 256 hundredths plus six and 964 thousandths. It equals nine and 524 thousandths. Keep in mind guys, when you're adding decimals, you have to align them decimal over decimal. You have to align the decimals. Once you add the coefficients or the decimals, step two, you're gonna just go ahead and bring them down. Now, when you add them in step one, your answer has to be in scientific notation form. If it's not, then our next um, steps will tell you what you would do if it's not in scientific notation form. But in this example, it is. So your final answer is nine and 524 thousandths time 10 to the third power. This is example one. Okay, so example two, we're gonna subtract. First thing we're gonna do is look at our base and our exponent. So they're, 10 to the, they're both 10 to the fifth power. So now I can proceed and subtract my decimals or my coefficients, or you can call your coefficients. Make sure you align them when you subtract. So once I subtract, I have four and 627 thousandths. Again, my answer is written in scientific notation form. And the way that you actually recognize that is you're gonna place the decimal after the digit that falls between one and 10, and four does fall between one and 10. Okay, so now that I've subtracted my decimals, I'm going to just bring down my exponent, which is 10 to, to the fifth power. So my final answer is four and six, 627 thousandths times 10 to the fifth power. Okay, so this is example three, same thing. The first thing we're gonna do is look at our exponent. Our exponent is the same, four, 10 to the fourth power. So we're gonna go ahead and add our coefficients or our decimals. Once we add them, you can set it up this way or you can actually um, set it up um, and do the decimal, align the decimals. You can set it up that way or if you're gonna use a calculator, you don't have to align them. Um, your final answer is six and 25 hundredths. Bring down your 10 to the fourth power and you're done. Six and 25 hundredths is in scientific notation form. So you can proceed and just bring down your decimal exponent. Okay, so we have a couple examples. Um, same exponent. Some means you're gonna add them. So once you add them, your final answer is A. Eight times 10 to the third power. Okay, so in this example, we're gonna subtract. Same thing, you're gonna look at your exponents first. Both of my exponents are 10 to the third power. Minus means I'm gonna subtract. So once I subtract, my answer is C, six times 10 to the third power. 
Okay, so this concludes video number one on adding or subtracting numbers in scientific notation with the same exponent. Um, in our week two, um, we do have two assignments that you're working on where the, the, the exponents are the same. One is a quiz is and one is an in-class activity. I do strongly encourage you guys to get the practice that you need. Work on those assignments that are in week two. Again, you have a quiz is and you have an in-class activity that gives you practice on working on adding and subtracting numbers um, in scientific notation with the same base. If you have any questions, you can please feel free to email me or on um, Friday, I'm gonna um, log in on my evening classes. And then Tuesday of next week, um, I'm gonna log in on the odd classes just to see if you have any questions. Again, if you're working out some examples or you watch the video and you, and you have some questions, you can actually email me and I'll be happy to assist you. Have a great day and please continue to video number two.